Hello and welcome to the weekly update from Crestview Middle School. I'm going to do this part with my mask on because I have Bailey here with me over my shoulder. I'll explain why she's here in just a minute. But first, I want to thank all of our at-home families for providing us feedback regarding our first day of schools. Um, we really appreciate uh, your insight and the information you provided us as we worked our way through our new learning model. With your feedback, we created a document to assist you with some of those concerns. And the link to that um, document is in the email. So click on that. There's like a list of FAQs and resources that may be beneficial to our at-home families. I wanted to give you an update on where we stand with COVID cases. So, so far since we started, we've only had five positive staff and five positive students, which has been a very great number for the size of Crestview. And as of today, we have a total of four staff and 26 students that aren't at school either due to positive cases or quarantining. Comparatively with the, with the size of our school, that really is a really low number for our school. So we appreciate everybody's efforts and wearing their masks and social distancing. And if everybody will continue to do their part, we'll be able to keep our students and staff safe and we'll be able to keep our school open and function in this way that allows parents the choice to either keep their child at home or to send them at school for in-person learning. So Bailey is here and I'm gonna to transition to her. I'm gonna step away so she can talk about her part Unmasked and I'll be back in just a minute. Hi, I'm Bailey Hahn. I'm an eighth grader here at Crestview and I'm also a member of the yearbook staff. We created this great yearbook last year and I'm sure you're not gonna to wanna to miss the chance to get, your, to get one this year. Tomorrow is the last day to save $10 on the 2020-2021 yearbooks. After November 13th, the price increases to $40. Order now using order number 8641. Eighth grade families, tomorrow is also the deadline to place baby ads for the yearbook. Thank you, Bailey. Um, again, just want to make sure you guys are aware of those deadlines um, for purchasing the discounted yearbook and the baby ads that is tomorrow. And many people have been asking about school pictures. So we've gotten dates confirmed. It will be December 15th and 16th. Those will be the dates for our in-person students. And we're looking on the evening of the 15th to have um, appointments for our at-home students to be able to come to school and have their photographs taken. We need everybody to have their picture taken for our at home and at school so that they can be in the yearbook that Bailey was just talking with you. Um, there's some other items that are coming up that you need to be aware of. Our, we're hosting a principal's coffee on November the 19th from 9.30 to 11. It's gonna be via Zoom. Um, the topic is getting ready for high school. So this is really geared towards our eighth grade families. Um, we know it seems like it's a long way off, but it, it happens quick. And it, we're going to have a counselor from Marquette and one from Lafayette just talking about things that students can do in their second semester and starting to build those habits so that they can transition to high school easily. There will be a Zoom link in the email. So please, excuse me, look for that. If you have a student that's in um, any of our science classes, please look on the website. Um, there's a, excuse me, there's a contract that families need to sign about um, science safety. You should have received information from your child science teacher as well. There's a spot for you to click on that and print that out if you need a copy, or we can send one home with your student, but we just need to make sure that those are signed and returned back to school. Thank you again for joining us. Um, we've been, been great um, operating with students back in the building for just over a week. Uh, we hope that we can continue to do this. Um, again, as I mentioned before, our numbers are looking really good at Crestview and we hope that we can maintain that. So I just ask that you continue to use some good mitigating factors at home. We will continue to do those at school. Our goal is to keep um, the school open so that there are options for families that wanna send their students to, to school. And those that are keeping their child at home will still, be, um, will, will still receive instruction as well. But our goal is to be able to offer both of those things. So as long as we can keep our numbers down, maintain, um, a good safe environment at Crestview, that is gonna be our goal to keep things moving ahead. If you got questions about anything, whether it's in the email or in this video, feel free to reach out to me at jansengary at rsdmo.org. And just wanted to say a couple quick thank yous, sorry, um, to our students that came up and chalked the walk and decorated outside Crestview for um, just giving some parent appreciate, or some teacher appreciation before our conferences this week. And next week is American Education Week. So 
if you wouldn't mind, it would be great that you could reach out to a staff member that has, you know, made your day better, made things go well for your students. The only thing I ask is that if you wouldn't mind just including me in on the email that you may send to that staff member so that I can show them an extra level of recognition as well. Thank you and have a great rest of your day and weekend.